Oh, there you are. Guys, welcome to Casa Sauce Balls 2.0. Parang I didn't see you guys not through the glass. <laughs> Hi everyone, so as promised, we are doing a little house tour just so that I can, you know, show you guys what we've done along the way and the brands we've found that we actually really love and that we've used in this house. I hope you guys enjoy! This is the dining table. Most of our stuff are new because I wanted a fresh look from our old house. But again, like I said, you'll find old pieces. This was also in my prior house from Felix as well. And then we have this beautiful textured wall from Foamy, like the one outside. Like I said, they just have things that you can paste and it gives, this looks like rock, but it's actually, I think it's made of clay if I'm not mistaken. And then I wanted a bit of texture, but again, keeping it in the neutral. So this is from Pattern Pad, but it's slightly printed, but not too strong. Ah, Pachi. This console is from Taylor Living. I got this because I wanted to have like a buffet for the food, but then I forgot I had a kitchen island. So when we have people come and we do a type of buffet sitting, we put all the food there and then people just stand up and getting there. Pieces you'll find, again, from my old house. These ones are from Merino Lighting. So most of my, how do you call it, fashion lamps are from Merino. And then all of the lighting in my house is from Ilao at Ibapa. We found them thanks to a recommendation. And again, these are magnetic lights. So you can just kind of magnet the lights up. And if you want to add more lights, it's easy to do so. If you want to remove, easy to do so as well. And then here, you can go outdoor to Nico's ice bath or to the outdoor toilet, which leads there. So everything can be opened. So you're probably wondering if it's hot here because the whole house is made of glass. I have a little tip for that. So our house, when we built it, we found out about Starken blocks, which honestly, I've never heard of in my life before because when it comes to construction, honestly, I've never heard of anything <laughs> before. I just know interiors. And it actually stops the heat from coming into the house. Not completely, but during the day, we hardly have aircon on unless we have a lot of guests because it keeps the house cool. And again, if your house is gonna burn down one day, which hopefully doesn't, it takes more time to burn down than regular cement blocks. For our glass naman, we went for a local supplier because we had different quotations from different brands of glasses. Some were crazy, but I wanted something sturdy enough that doesn't make noise when the wind blows. And I wanted, of course, good quality. So this is double glass, and this is actually from Grand East. We found them in Home Depot, so the whole house, 70% of the house is made of glass, which is why it was very important for us to find good quality, which we have here. Hi everyone, and welcome to the kids' playroom! So this was initially supposed to be the guest room. But when you're in a house, you don't want anyone overstaying. Shut up! We just wanted everything to be on one floor so that if we're having dinner, or if we're watching TV, we still get to see the kids or at least hear them. So everything is just in one level. So this is their playroom. I have a lot of things from the old house, but I also have a lot of amazing finds online. Like I have this dollhouse, little kitchenette area. This also I think I got from Amazon. So Mighty's loves to stay here and play with her toys because the sunlight comes here in the morning. And then this from Ikea, also from the old house. I love how it's so easy to just store things and then you can pull out, you can choose the colors. Like it's, it's really cool. All her toys from the old house again. This one I had made, a friend had the same one and was selling hers and I was not fast enough to get it but I love that it was, it's a woven, I think like bamboo-ish style and it has a pullout so just in case we have people that sleep over, yun. It's not so comfortable for them to, to actually sleep here for like 10 days but it's comfortable enough for them to enjoy the night if they can't go home. But yeah, it's a beautiful one. I. I custom made, so I even chose the fabric and we chose to make the under part a pull-out bed as well. So yeah, this is the kids' place here. Things I found from Ikea, of course. 
I love this. It's super easy for them to draw and erase. There's paper. Old toy as well from the first house. What else we have? We have this also from Ikea with all the storage bins. So all the toys are here, very organized. I teach the kids to always fix after they play. <laughs> Except for her, obviously. Huh? Yeah, I know. What do you want? That one? Okay, later. So the playroom is always this clean, yes. We also clean up after them, obviously. But it never gets messy. Like every time they play with a new toy, they have to fix the first toy that they're playing with. And I got this table. I bought it in a mom fair. And I super love the brand. I think it's a Japanese brand. So this is super beautiful. And so at least when Tilly has friends over or we decide to get a tutor or an art teacher, they have enough space here to kind of do their thing. Again, here's closets. All her books are here. We have papers crayons, everything is organized. I was helped by Neat Obsession to kind of help me categorize everything and fix everything accordingly. The books as well, they're by color, so it looks pretty to the eye. Of course, always have alcohol in the room. And here we have the toilet. Floors again, all Nero granite. And if you see the floors and the walls, at least, it's all the same. Tilly's room, Mylisa's room, and this playroom slash guest room, we just did the same finishing. So it's not complicated design-wise. And again, I just added more texture with pattern pads. So with the wallpaper, just to give it more of a little umph. And this is where the guests shower if ever they go to the pool. But we also have an outdoor shower. And this, we did black since we're not using the shower as much because again, showers that are used the most are in our bedrooms. I went for black because I've always wanted black everything. So black shower. And then of course, since it's the guest room, dapat maayos lahat. So when people shower, they have their body wash, conditioner, shampoo. And then let's go back out. Since the playroom is really all for play, the closet here has like face paint, has all her pins and clips. And of course, all her princess dresses, all the princess you can imagine. They're all here, <laughs> even the little mermaid. So yeah, she gets to really play here with her friends when they come over. Another thing I found online, which I'm obsessed with, are these. So basically you can open it and then change every time, just add the pictures in there. So it's fun because the kids love to draw and I love to see their artwork put up already. So I bought this, I think Amazon then, but they have it everywhere. So yeah, you can open all of them and then it just makes the room look a little bit more personal, diba? Like they can put their own thing. So yeah, kahit mal malinis pa rin tingnan, because I'm a neat freak. <laughs> now the light is actually hitting really nice because it's about to be sunset. So if you can see the room, it's spacious. Not too big, not too small, but the kids have enough room to play around with. And instead of doing a rug here, since it does get a little bit messier than their bedrooms, we did opt for the children's play mats. Oh, what happened? But I got like a beige one so that it matches your happy so that it matches the house and it's not an eyesore or not too messy when it comes to colors, right? Because we like to be clean in this house. No, we don't. Okay, we don't. So that's it, that's the playroom. I hope you guys enjoy. Hi everyone, so we are continuing. This is the TV room, which is a smaller TV room. I wanted something that the kids could use while we would eat or if we're entertaining friends. I want them to have their own little area. So this is the kids' little TV area. The rug is from Eurobell as well, so it's not a real person. That's silly making noise, it's okay. It's not a real person, but I love it because it looks Tilly! It's super beautiful. I'm up here. I know, I can hear you. <laughs> That's wait a minute. Okay. okay, slowly Tilly, mama's making. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Drama, my little dramatic girl. So, anyways, again, a lot of my rugs are from them just because I wanted to talk to one person. This is from a pine, like you saw in the other rooms. The whole house is made with them. So we have this same look and very clean. I have my little princess here with the saber. Ah, be let the force be with you. Come here, Tilly Bum. I'm doing a tour. Okay, a lot of, a lot, a lot of the decoration is from the old house as well. We did bring some things home, but I did change a lot of the look. No. The sofa is super comfy, yeah, I as love you can it. see. Boink, can throw them on. <laughs> it, it's from Taylor Living as well. Super comfortable. I made it a bit darker so that if the kids sit here and make a mess, it won't get too dirty. 
And then this marble table as well, I thought looked really nice with the rug. So we added this and again, spill proof because it's like marble and everything. Details here are from Felux, from my friend's... Yes, this, this is the better. <laughs> from my friend's trip to Africa. So we have... Africa, mommy, you. You say Africa. Yeah, say Africa. What do you find in Africa? What animals? Butterflies. Yeah, there's butterflies, that's for sure. So the purpose of this area as well was to be able to look... Yeah, to look that's out. Fun. That's <laughs> So I see whoever's down here, whoever's making a mess, and we can also see the view. So that whole back area that's like a grill is actually operable. So we can open it and have more of like the green scene. But for now, I close it more for, you know, some privacy. This, by the way, guys, is the dumbwaiter, which Nico had all the say for, but I'm super happy we went for it. Because at first I said no, but it's the most useful thing. Anything we need all the way down to the third floor, we can bring it in here. Just, I'm scared for the kids in the future if they play hide and seek. But anyways, let's teach them.